Here's a common household problem, especially in the bathroom. The bathroom basin has got a chip out of the porcelain, something that uh, most people will decide to go out and get some touch-up paint, which there's quite a number of porcelain and enamel repair kits around the uh, stores today. And you can get the, uh, the natural color, make very certain that you do get the proper color. But when you apply it, it's not the thing to do because when you apply it, all it does is mask, but it doesn't fill because there's definitely a dip there which you can see. So the proper way to do it is fill first. So I'll show you how to do that. Here's the proper material here to use. An epoxy putty comes in many different brands. Some are striped in order to show the two-part epoxy. Others are actually molded within the actual cylindrical uh, tube of material. And all you have to do with this product is cut equal quantities. And that's very simple. Just cut the required amount because you've got equal quantities now, being that you've got the inside hardener and the putty around the outside. Remove the plastic from around the unit. And I'm going to use it right on top of a spackling knife. It's much handier because you're not mixing an awful lot. And knead it together. And when you knead the two part epoxy together, by mixing with a putty knife, you're now going to have a good putty to fill in the little cavity where that chipped porcelain has come out. There, we'll take some of the completely kneaded putty now and apply it in the cavity and spread it out over top of the clean surface. I've cleaned the basin here with some lacquer thinners prior to the application of the epoxy putty. And now it's a matter of smoothing it out best you can with the putty knife and then having that uh, cup of warm water with some dishwasher detergent, or oh, maybe uh, four or five drops, just so you can take it now and smooth it off. And that smoothing, you can see you can, you're molding it, molding it into the cavity of the, uh, the chipped porcelain. There, I've got it almost. In fact, it's just great now. I can feel that the cavity is all filled in, and it's nice and smooth. All I'm going to have to do now is some very fine sanding with some emery paper. But first, I'm going to let it dry for 15 or 20 minutes. That allows the epoxy to harden up. And then we'll be ready for the sanding and the final uh, porcelain touch-up. Now that we've allowed the epoxy putty to cure, I'm going to use some wet and dry. This is a wet and dry emery paper, but you can use a wet and dry trimite paper as well. And we'll just sand that smooth ready for the finishing porcelain touch-up. Now I'm going to take the paint from the uh, touch-up bottle and I'm using a putty knife here for a palette because I want to make sure that I just have the right amount on the brush and I got the bristles going the right way and then ready to brush on. And it makes it such a nicer looking job because now there's no indent, there's no concave area to show the chip portion that was there before. There, after about a half an hour curing time, it'll be all set. In fact, if you want to feather it out and really make it uh, fine featured, then you can use the 600 grit paper again with some water, feathering it right out to the actual color of the basin. Now, when you repair basins like this, uh, it saves you a lot of money because this particular colored bayberry is no longer available. So therefore, if you were to change the basin, you would be now changing the toilet as well as the tub. I would say that's a pretty inexpensive way to uh, repair a porcelain chip, don't you?